Having trouble making your own intro video for your own YouTube channel? No, no. Well, find out how I made mine on this week's episode. Bum, 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 Hello, 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 and welcome to On The Mandel Piece Live with me, Sasha Mandel. On this week's Inside My Kimono, we delve into how I made a channel intro video. Yeah, I've leveled it up. What are you going to do about that? Yeah, we've got other things as well. We also have, before we dive into that, I'll give you a little bit of an update on what we're going to be doing on the Engendono. So we've got how I'm going to be making my channel intro video, which is pretty much 99% complete. We then have a little update on the If You Musk, the 10-part series comedy extravaganza, uh, all about tech entrepreneur, billionaire, Elon Musk, Avado, we're going to tell you a little bit how we are getting on with that project as well. And then finally, uh, to end the uh, live, we are going to celebrate Kanye's latest album with our cultural correspondent, DJ Schlaffer, doing a poetic rendition of Seller, the second track on Jesus is King. But before we dive into all of that, I would just like to say a very, very happy birthday to a very, very special person. She shares the name with the show. Her name is Laura Mandel. Happy birthday. And for you, I'm going to sing you a little bit of a rendition of the birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Hi. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday, Laura Mandel. Happy birthday to you. Yes, thank you so much. You mean incredibly a lot to me. Thank you, Laura, and thanks for tuning in. So let's just dive right into the show. What have I done? I've made a channel intro. Yeah, I've leveled up. I've gone to another level in the creative process. So when people are having trouble building their own, I'm going to tell you exactly how I made mine. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So I don't know if you remember, if you've been watching the other previous episodes, but I've created a Kanban. Kanban being a system in which uh, a project goes through. So uh, on my Kanban, you've got level zero, which is the conceptual part of the project. Then you've got draft one, which is a uh, really rough draft of it by Roy. Uh, really rough draft of the show. Then you've got final draft, which is tweaking the uh, script to Rono. And then you've got rehearsals. You do the line learning. You play it. You mold it together. You really see what's going down in Chinatown with that old uh, rehearse Ono. Uh, then you've got the filming the actual catching the lightning in the bottle. Then you've got editing and then a thumbnail um, and then the copywriting and then complete. So with the channel intro, let's start from level one, okay? So some people, you don't know where to start. Well, first of all, you should always start with why. If you don't know why, I do really suggest that you buy this book called Start With Why by Simon Sinek. It's an incredible, incredible book, and it really helps cement my why, why I exist on this planet, and why I wake up every single day trying to make something that just little bit better. My mission here at On The Mandel Piece is to inspire people to keep creating. Uh, and so what I did is from that basis, I then had a concept, uh, that's level zero. And from that concept, I then spent about a day to a day and a half writing a script. The script was about A4 uh, sheet long. Uh, well, when people ask how long the intro video should be, well, I say, how long is a movie trailer? <laughs> so about 60 seconds to uh, two minutes. And that's about where mine is sitting. So anyway, I wrote a draft. And then what I did is from getting from draft one to final draft, I then bounced it off someone. This is really important because when you're creating something, you have tunnel vision. You're just doing this. This is all you do. Boom, boom, boom. And so it's great to have an outside view that is removed, distant from the emotional attachment 
to what you have created. And then from there, I then went on to the final draft. And once the final draft, that is just tweaking the lines here and there, but always being able to just uh, let it go. Just, just let just let it all go. If there needs to be a change on the day of filming or later down the line, but getting that final draft where you're happy. Then finally, what I did with the rehearsal was that I then did on Insta Live. I spent an hour learning my lines, but because I'd learned, uh, because I'd learned, I because I'd written, written, yeah, because I'd written the script. It was already kind of in my my uh, brain uh, through the kind of hand drawing symbiotic brain neural thingy which i can't quite go quite into right now it's all scientific and i don't really know but yeah what happened was is i did a rehearsal on insta live and it was quite cool because we had sumed uh, an incredibly uh, intense and 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 passionate man all about cash flow he loves cash flow but he was there and he watched the stream and he helped me and he gave me feedback so this was really good Always seek feedback. Always seek feedback from people that you trust. I'll repeat that. Always seek feedback from people that you trust. Thank you very much. So then we got to a point where the lessons were learned, the script had been written, the lines had been, you know, embedded in the old software, the old program into the hard drive. Then what happens is you film. You film the show. And then what happens? Well, I had an incredibly, incredibly generous man, an incredibly talented man, Tobias Norman. He came over and he directed me and he filmed it. And he also brought his camera, which was an incredibly generous thing to do. So we then filmed, we spent the day playing around with it. And at this point as well, I was still the script. We broke it away. We broke it down. And he thought that there would be a really good idea to add, you know, a, a certain sentence here, take away a lot of sentences to really condense the message, really get the message, you know, thick and oozing and focused and sharp all at the same time. So we did that, and then the filming was fantastic, and we loaded that in. One of my greatest, greatest weaknesses is the sound. And so what I did is I made sure that I really got sound right. We, we took our time, we spent a good hour trying to play around with the sound, testing it, seeing if it was all good. So we did that, and I'm really happy to say that the sound came out beautifully. It came out beautifully. What can I say, ladies and gentlemen? I can. Thank him enough. It was incredible. We used a Rode mic. Uh, we used an H1 Zoom. It was fantasticano. But then is the real, real tricky uh, part, which is the editing. It's using all of this and mushing it all together and splicing it and cutting it and stretching it and, you know, keyframing it and green screening it and all this kind of jazz into a computer. And so this, for me, is a new uh, skill that I've been learning. I've been probably editing for about two years, two to three years now. Uh, and I still believe that I'm at the base camp. Um, I am making an incredible uh, strides. This, this, this project especially, I felt I was able to create strides. And it was something like you've never seen before. Uh, so let me take you through the editing uh, slightly. With the editing, uh, there was certain rules that I abided to. This is after a conversation with uh, old Jake. Key. Um, what we decided is that when you want to create something, imagine it first and don't worry about whether you can technically do it because you don't want to restrict yourself or your imagination with what your, the tools around you or the skill set that you have. You want your imagination to go further than that so that you then have to innovate to get to that image. So, for example, there was a scene where I'm on a desert island uh, trying to build a rocket ship to Mars. So how did, I did, how did I do that? I imagined it and I then took steps to build it. I had to, uh, there was lots of things I had to do, but the kind of steps towards that is learn, you know, learn relevant skills that need to be learned in order to build it. 
then um, practice that, uh, get that into motion, and then finally create it, make it a reality. And don't be afraid to keep pushing. Uh, there were different ways to skin a cat, but I kept trying different methods until I found the most effective. Because trust me, there are fast ways and there are slow, slow ways. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, I learned that the hard way. So we're at that point in time where I've now done everything. I've done the thumbnail and I've done the copyright for the channel intro. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to share it with all of you. I don't know when that will be, but I will keep you up to date. Uh, I'm just letting it just percolate. I just want it to just be perfect because once I have the channel intro in the pocket, in the pochette, as they say in Tuan, in the south of France, uh, once it's in the pochette, I can then use it. I can then send it to producers. I can then send it to people to try and subscribe to the channel, to subscribe to the mission. It's uh, the gateway to the show. And so it's going to be vital that I continue to do that. So that is how I did it. Wow, 10 minutes. 10 minutes we are on. Um, quick update on the old uh, Elon Musk Avado series. So uh, I don't know if you remember, but last week I talked about an episode called Solar City. That was one of the things that I wanted to get from conceptual level to draft one. I'm halfway there. So the concept for it is, is now very strong. We've got a new character that's going to be on the show. He's an American. Uh, I really am excited. I want to do some hot seating on the Insta Live. So please do jump into that if you want to be part of this, you know, drama exercise, these kind of uh, developments. I want, I want to include you all. I want this to be inclusive. Hello. Thank you so much, Kitty Auckland, for joining late in the game. We were just talking about uh, the uh, in new intro channel that I had made. And we're now talking about the If You Musk, the 10-part uh, series about Elon Musk. So Solar City is the episode. And we're going to have a new character on there. And it's going to be Fantasticano. Um, and that's it. That's the end of this kind of section. But don't worry, don't go yet. We've got our cultural correspondent, DJ Schlafer. He's going to be performing a poetic rendition of Seller, the second song on Ye's new album, uh, Jesus is King. So please uh, bear with us. Stay tuned. It's only going to be a few minutes longer. I'm going to set up for the cultural correspondent to perform to us. So thank you very much and keep tuned. This is going to be super exciting. Super exciting. It's super exciting. Look at that. It's all live. It's all live and I'm all making it up at the same time. It's all live, isn't it? It's all live. Bing -a -dong -dong, bing -bing 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 -bing. You're right, Kitty, all good? Everything all right? Fantastic, Arno. Let's get this old here, old buddy, old boy. Yeah. Okay. Yes, hello. The live stream is still going. Stop. Jesus uh, is king. Jesus is King is the album that Kanye, uh, little facts, little known facts. Uh, he wanted people to um, uh, not have premarital, uh, you know, uh, the thing. Uh, so here we go. Oh, fantastic. This is very nicely. This is very nicely set for Schlafer. Schlafer, would you like to, sorry, guys. Uh, Schlafer, would you like to come? It's uh, time to do your old performance. Let me just warm up. Hi there, people. Oh my God, super excited. You will guess it, it is me, DJ Schlafer, in the house. So what you will all have been waiting for is a live performance of Seller, a poetic rendition of his beautiful, angelic gospel song. Excuse me, I have not learned the line, but you will understand that the passion comes from inside, not from learning the lines. 
Okay, here we go. Seller by Kanye West. Then I want to have a good Zebrada. God is king and we are the soldiers. Ultra beam out the solar. When I get to heaven's gate, I ain't got a peek over. Keep in perfect composure. When I scream at the chauffeur, I ain't mean. I'm just a focus. I ain't mean, I'm just a focused. Pour the lean out slower. Pour, pour, pour. I got clean out the soda before the flood people judge. They did the same thing to Noah. Everybody, everybody, absolutely, I know one side of the wooden side wanted Yandy. But Jesus took out the laundry. They say the weak start on Monday, but the strong start on Sunday. Won't be in bondage to any man. John 8, 3, 3. We, the descendants of Abraham, ye should be made free. John 8, 3, 6. To whom the Son set free is free indeed. We saved a wretch like me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, unser Vasa, Alleluia, sagen Sie Vasa, Halleluja, Halleluja, Hallelujah, Wunze, Raten Sie Duese, Raten Sie Buden, Sie Raten Sie Rennen, Sie Raten Sie, he is born the fall. If you awoke, then wake up with Judas, kiss and make up, even with the better cup. Forgave my brothers and drank up, did everything but gave up, stabbed my back. I can't front still. We win, we win, we praise, we raise, we die, we raise up. Hallelujah. Ain't no waiting. No, we needed the powers that they done been greedy. I mean, it's the water need ours by this evening. No divide fast or no treaty. We got the product, we got the tools, we got the minds, we got the youth. We going wild, we on the loose. People are lying. We are the truth. Everything old shall now be new. The leaves will be green, bearing the fruit. Love God and our neighbor. As written in Luke, the army of God and we are the truth. You heard it here. Welcome to live every Wednesday. If you haven't already, subscribe, share, and like. Over and out, bitches. I know, wouldn't